Lost Ancient Chinese Dynasties. Huan, the Deluge. There were giants on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, and they bore children to them. Those were the mighty men who were of old, men of renown. Mighty men who were of old, men of renown, were the crossbreed between the fallen angels and human. These hybrids are not human, because they were not created in God's image. As a result, they were annihilated at the deluge. The Grecian, Indian, Chinese, and other ancient civilizations had their own interesting mythologies of the miracles and great achievements of these crossbreed. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So the Lord said, "I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping thing and birds of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them." Chuan, ship, zhou, boat, ba, eight, kou. Person. God commanded Noah to build a ship, ark, big enough to hold all, for He will kill everything on land with the flood. The ship built by Noah that survived the deluge was the boat with eight persons. Ta, tower of Babel. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built, and the Lord said. Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language, and this is what they begin to do. Now, nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Her unity with one language. Her unity. Ren, man. Yi, one. Ko, mouth, language. There was unity. In the building of the Tower of Babel, when men spoke only one language, then they said to one another, "Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly." They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, "Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth." Tower of Babel, Ta. Tower, tu, earth or dust of the ground, radical of chao, grass or straw. Men took earth and straw to bake bricks to build the Tower of Babel. Then they were united, for they spoke only one language. Prehistoric China, the period before the Xia Dynasty, is little known in history. The often inconclusive information that was gathered were from the written narratives of ancient writers and poets. The lack of evidence to support their fables rendered their stories legendary. According to some writer, Nuwa, Eve had the head of a woman and the body of the snake. She used the earth to make humans after her own image. Thus. Confirming that all her descendants are sinners, we want to thank God for inspiring Moses to chart the history of Genesis. The study on the ancient history of China is taken from Genesis chapter one to eleven. Mankind are the descendants of Noah, who resided in Mesopotamia. The origins of every tongue and every race began here. I encourage every. These were the families of the sons of Noah, according to their generations, in their nations, and from these the nations were divided on the earth after the flood. I encourage everyone to go back to the Bible for an accurate account of your ancient history. Every stroke of Chinese characters found in this study tells the creation story with great accuracy. I have no doubt, but to believe. That God helped the Chinese to develop part of the Chinese language throughout its creation and transformation. Yi, prophecy of the cross. 
But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and immediately blood and water came out. Gao, Lamb of God, Jesus, Shou, Hand, Ge, Spear. When the soldier came to Jesus, with his hands holding a spear, he pierced his side, causing blood and water to pour out. The precious blood of Jesus cleanses all our sins and unrighteousness. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanses us from all sin. Pure water, his word, sanctifies us and makes us holy. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water.